welcome back guys today we'll be starting successive differentiation so let's get started so suppose we have function y equals to fx so what we'll basically doing is that so we have to calculate the differentiation of this so this will be dy by dx equals to f dash x so now if you calculate the second order differentiation to like d2y upon dx2 it will be f double dash x so what we are basically interested in is that so we have to calculate d2n upon dxn that will be fn of x so we have to learn about this so let's get started so there are some nth derivatives of some standard functions some standard functions from where which we can derive all our other functions of which we want to calculate our n differentiation different derivative so our number one is of this formula or like derivative y is equals to a x plus b whole to the power m where m is a real number real number so let's get started first we'll differentiate it so this is y1 first ordered first differentiation this will be m times ax plus b whole to the power m minus 1 then differentiation of x that will be a so now we'll calculate again y2 this will be m times m minus 1 so differentiation of this times ax plus b now this will be m minus 1 minus 1 this will be m minus 2 now this will be a square because a and again differentiation of a that will be a square so now y3 will be m times m minus 1 upon my times m minus 2 this will be ax plus b m minus 3 a cube so continuing this process for like sometimes so now we can see the general method general way of this of this answer is coming out so we can directly write our n derivative that will be going to be m times m minus 1 m minus 2 up to m minus n plus 1 this will go to up to m minus n plus 1 times ax plus b whole to the power m minus n times a to the power n so let me write it properly so so this is our main formula that you need to re keep in mind so there are some special cases for this so case 1 which is when m is greater than n and m is a positive integer so the formula turns out to be like this m times y n equals to m m minus 1 m minus 2 dot dot up to m minus n plus 1 so uh, now we are continuing now we are multiplying and dividing by m minus n m minus n minus 1 this will go up to like 3 to 1 now we'll do the same from for the numerator this will be 3 to 1 now let me add the rest of the term ax plus b whole to the power m minus 1 n minus n a to the power n so what is this is basically it is the factorial of m and this is the factorial of m minus n so this will be y n equals to m factorial upon m minus n whole factorial times a x plus b m minus n a to the power n so 
this is a very important formula that you always have to keep in mind now let us move on to case 2 when which is when m will be equals to n this is simple so what we see is that when our m is equals to n this is this gets cancelled out that is m minus n 0 it is 1 1 this will be 0 this will be 1 so basically this will turn out to be yn will be equals to yn will be equals to n factorial upon times e to the power n so this was pretty easy now case 3 that is when m will be less than n and m is positive integer so when our m will be less than n that is very absurd that will that will always come out as a zero pretty easy so now let us move on to our second formula number two which is of the form y equals to one upon ax plus b or we can write this as ax plus b whole to the times minus one so again we'll do the same like y1 is equals to minus one ax plus b this will be minus one minus one minus two times a now y2 will be minus one this will be minus two ax plus b whole to time minus three a square y3 minus one minus two minus three ax plus b whole to minus four a cube so this will be done many times so we can write a general formula like this the minus one minus two minus three up to minus n this is minus n now times ax plus b all to the power minus n plus one times a to the power n a to the power n so now simplifying this so our general formula comes out to be y n is equals to minus one to the power n n factorial upon this will be n factorial upon this goes into denominator this will be x plus b to the power n plus one times e to the power n so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you